Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Super League. It's your boy Odin and today we're back for some more clan festival summons. As you all know, we do have the double crystal rate month. So we're going to go ahead and uh, basically empty out all of our stack of astral gems, which is around uh, 26,000 plus a ticket. Um, I may need a couple more summons at the end to uh, essentially make sure that I get all the third egg. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can do with uh, the astral gems we have. If we can get all three eggs without having to um, you know recycle any gems that'd be great because I would like to save uh, whatever gems I get um, after these summons to uh, use for the upcoming uh, Heroes Festival this next month as well. Um, so with that said guys there is a pretty big update coming up here uh, between uh, tonight into tomorrow once um, MSL does their uh, update for the month. Uh, they are going to be making it so that you can select which Astromon you are going to get from the uh, pool of Heroes Fest. That is one time and one time only. Uh, so for example if you don't have a Shinobi um, and you need to get a Shinobi uh, you can essentially go ahead and select them from the pre-selectable menu. And uh, that will ensure that the next extra mon that you summon uh, will make sure to be that Shinobi. And I'm going to go ahead and just open up the uh, page here so that you guys can kind of take a quick look. Um, I don't want to do too, too much time into this whole patch. I'm sure Elio will uh, release uh, a better um, update. I should say a, a little you know, script on how exactly this patch is going to plan out. Um, but we do have a lot of things coming up, including, you know, th this new Astromon. Uh, he does look pretty decent. I'm hoping that he comes with some skills for the new Light and Dark Apophis. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, for now, I do have an Apophis guide coming up here soon, guys. It's just, uh, for the time being, I've been just really busy with life and trying to get a couple other projects done. Um, but once that is complete, um, I'll go ahead and uh, make that guide. Uh, plus, you know, I, do, I did need at least two, three weeks to do a lot of... Uh, team comps etc and try to figure out what was the best way to tackle it as well so i'm not going to give you guys wrong information but um uh, but anyways this is what you're looking at here you essentially can select you know which astromon you want to um summon and you can go ahead and just basically preview you know that that summon whatever astromon it is and you can select it so that you can um you know essentially make sure that you get the mon that you need and then these is the, this is the list of astromon that you can get zubeji shinobi garuda indra persephone yormungandr shawujin and uh, of course the rgb colors only uh so yeah i will go ahead and close this out uh we'll we'll talk about some other the other changes later on but we do want to go ahead and continue on with our summons because like i said it is double crystal rate and we do have a ton and uh yeah, I'm definitely going to use this month to essentially just pocket in uh, quite a decent amount of crystals. Wow, this is really good on that four rates. Uh, just because, uh, you know, come November time this coming year, we will definitely have another uh, Black Friday deal in which, you know, the crystal shop will be completely 50% uh, off. Ooh, Fire Wuchi, perfect. I did do... Uh, one round of the Fire Wuchi um, Primo Fest, but I did not record it. I didn't get anything um, uh, fancy. I did get another uh, wood and a Fire uh, Wuchi, but I, I have plenty already. I do have two Evo 3 uh, Fire John Wuchis, um, and uh, I don't think I really need to build anything else. I'm probably going to save my stones or um, the copies that I get for him and the gleams to get a light one if I ever do get a light one, but nice. So we're actually on a very nice stream here. We ended up getting two and a half fives. Um, before I do this next time, let's make sure that I'm not on channel one. Okay, let me go ahead and set myself up somewhere else. Um, and we'll save that 63. Hey, is there somebody in 69? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. I just don't want people to see, you know, what I'm summoning right where I'm doing it before the video drops. So keep the suspense going at least a little bit longer. All right, but wow, we are getting really lucky with the Nat Force. So for today's goal, um, I would just really like to pull a couple more Acers because I do need to build the wood one for the Dark Bophis dungeon. Um, it took me quite a few tries to kind of figure out exactly the best placement for uh, the Apophis boss, but I think I have it down at least in a semi um, there. Um, I think the biggest thing when it comes to Apophis though is definitely the gem work now because I don't want to remove any of the gems that I have on my Titan monsters right now uh, since most of you guys will already know right now you know unless you're in the top or first clan uh, winning Apophis every week it doesn't really benefit you to drop a couple of levels on Titans um, so you know continue on 
doing your Titans just like everything else and Apophis is just going to be on the back burner more like for the high end players first um, but I do know that there are quite a decent amount of whales in the game now and I do know that uh, you know a lot of you guys have been playing the game for a very long time at least the people that are faithful to msl have been playing the game for four years so uh, a lot of you guys will definitely have you know the mons to take on the dark apophis or the light apophis or you know who are, i think are, are the most the variant ones i should say are the most difficult ones um but i'm sure a lot of you guys that are beginning out there would like to hop in on it just to help out your your clan to you know get a couple levels higher um but yeah um, looks like that I, I went straight to my box, but yeah, so far I think we've pulled two nat fives in twenty or in six thousand astro gems, so that's pretty good. Uh, better than my heroes festival rates, that is for sure. I think this last uh, heroes fest that we had was absolutely horrible, um, and I did end up going all the way to the five guaranteed eggs, and uh, yeah, it just it wasn't really all that great. Um, although I did pull a variant, so let's see what do we got here. This should be the egg, hopefully. Yes. All right, so there's our first egg. Yeah, there we go. And 19,000 gems left, so we should have enough to get the other uh, two eggs. So that way we'll have four heroic gold and eggs to open up. All right, and it looks like our luck is running dry. We're starting to get only one at four per summon. Um, but like I said, I honestly am okay. Um, going deep into this clan fest because like i said double crystals you know we need a lot of those um crystals for the books and i need a lot of books now because i completely changed uh my fire titan team and i completely changed my dark titan team i i definitely need a lot more sir nuno's books now because i'm using two of him on my lineup um i definitely need to improve a couple of my water acers as well overall in general i need a lot of books john wuji needs full stack of books now as well uh, mike rudas need a full stack of books now as well so yeah it's definitely uh getting pretty hard to keep up management managing like all of the teams um i personally have like a team for every single titan so if you if you know how difficult it is to get gems for like you know just a couple of mons for you know one titan imagine what it's like having to do all of them so all right we're still getting two so i'm gonna stay on the stream for a little bit longer and hopefully we do have another nat 5 coming up here soon two wood super stones all right i'll take them i need one more wood hana to super evil and i'm all set and done with the hanas I will, that will be um eight wood hanas at super ascension or super ever evo i should say all right i'm gonna back out just one time Ooh, light and dark egg awesome you know what do i have space in my inventory i'm gonna open up some of my light and dark eggs just to test out the luck let me go ahead and make some room three stars we'll get rid of some of these um, if you are new or still trying to build your teams for the Apophis dungeon, make sure that you guys are sell saving yourselves uh, the Kikimoras. The Kikis are uh, very valuable right now because unless you have the uh, ginger cookie uh, from the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the um, Christmas catch uh, exotic whatever event you don't have a, a fire cookie uh you're gonna need to build three uh fire kikimora so let's go ahead and open up 10 of these at once because i want to see what the luck is like this month um in general i don't really expect anything from the three star eggs three to five star eggs but i have pulled a light intro from these and i have pulled a uh light shinobi from these as well if i remember right so oh one f4 we got some fivy action going there i'm gonna open, uh, save those six because i'm i want to make sure that i have enough for the next um heroes festival uh video so i usually like to open up 10 every month so i'll save that for there i think that's all i had Got a lot of super stones, and as you guys know, that's awesome. So, all right, let me uh, back up. All right, let's finish up the summons here. 
Uh, anyways, guys, I wish you all the best of luck on your summons. I know a lot of you guys are kind of uh, left in limbo after last month because I know a lot of you guys summoned early and you lost the all of your crystals like way ahead before, uh, or not lost the crystals, but you lost your chance at double crystals because we ended up spending all of our gems. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys saved up a couple during the uh, month um, and uh, can use them now. Oh, uh, Water Cupid, guys, definitely OP right now as well for the uh, Apophis dungeon. Um, very usable in like four out of the five Apophis, so make sure you build him up. Let's see now. All right, only one Nat 4. We started off pretty hot. We did get a, a bunch of nat, uh, nat fours. I think one of the summons had like five and one pull. Um, so I guess it makes up for some of these having singles, but all right, what's going on? We've entered the ba bad luck stream, stream here. And we still need, oh, two light super stones, sweet. I will take those. Um, but like I said, good luck to all you guys summoning. I hope that you guys uh, pull one awesome Astromon that you guys are looking for. I did see a couple people actually pull like Glinda. If you don't know, like Glinda is extremely OP right now in arenas. Um, and I love how she just completely power crept the entire, um, you know, scene with that buff break. You know, immunity was kind of like a huge deal when it first came out. Because now you can essentially avoid a lot of the, uh, you know, I guess, debuffs like zap, uh, like stun, etc. Which kind of like really changed up the, the way that you would uh, set up a lot of your monsters for arena. Um, but I think like Glinda right now is probably one of the most annoying Astromon to hit um, in uh, arenas because of the fact that she can kind of like, you know, completely clear out all of your debuffs. Um, of course, uh, Seal still does work, and so does, uh, what is it, the other skill, uh, Nullify. As long as you get the, the Nullify off first, it still works. Um, but if you do Buff Break, Buff Break can get rid of uh, Nullify as well, if I recall right. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky, I guess, to find out how they're going to balance things out because I know they're still changing a lot of the things in Arena. And as we all know, the Arenas need to change like real, real bad. So, I mean, it's way overdue. All right, this should be the th second egg. And I did end up buying the heroic golden egg, which was like 27 bucks. So, you know, don't be like me and spend all your money on MSL. Um, but at least hopefully my funds, I, I, I honestly don't care because I'm at least funding the game for, you know, another year, let's say. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there who are like complete whales. I'm, I'm more of like a small fish, guys. Like I really don't spend more. I think this year I've spent like 120 bucks on this game already. Um, but that's because they had like some pretty amazing packages. I mean, I know they changed a lot of their package systems lately, so it's like been kind of worth it. Um, for somebody like me that's endgame that I'm like hunting light and darks, you kind of have to. It's, it's almost like impossible to not take advantage of like that opportunity unless you're like completely, completely free to play. Um, but I'm, you know, I, I'm okay. I like to at least contribute to uh, or, or donate to a smart study nowadays, so it's all right. But I definitely am not going to go like much crazier this year. Like I, I did see that they added. A whole bunch of packages for this um, spring festival or whatever I'm like thinking to myself I'm not doing that again because you know the chances of you pulling pulling a light in a dark from the uh, heroic golden eggs are really really small um, and uh, really the only thing you're, you're justifying to yourself is you know do I farm all month to get that heroic golden egg or do I just dish out money for it and like getting those eggs is not that difficult you should be able to farm you know 15,000 Astro gems a month at minimum you should be able to um, I mean it, that's what I'm doing almost every month so it, you, I know that a lot of you guys can definitely do that so. um, I do have a Astro gems guide video so make sure you guys go through my playlist I, I did have been getting a ton of like messages on discord from just like direct messages guys and like I'll tell you this right now there's a ton of guides on my channel all you got to do is go to the playlist and just take a look at the playlist see what's there there's colossus guides there's golems guides there's you know uh, all kinds of different guides just go take a look and i'm sure you guys will find what you're looking for 
Um, like I said, there's definitely going to be some new updates coming up soon. Um, like, I definitely got to do a couple Astromon reviews. Uh, like I said, the Apophis guides are there. Um, I personally have been, you know, taking a really long time with Titans because Titans is very complicated and very complex. And it's not that I don't want to do a video and show you guys how to do them. It's that I want to make sure that when I tell you guys the information like, hey, this monster mount is good here. I want to make sure that they actually work because, you know, you could have you could use any Astromon that you want in Titans technically, but unless they're positioned in the right place uh, to take advantage of things like ele um, elemental weakness or uh, exposed weakness, excuse me, um, or, you know, setting up your courageous strikers on, you know, the right side or knowing what healer to put on your right side with like an attack up. Um, it can be very, very, not that it's difficult to do, um, but uh, it can it can vary depending on what you have in your Astromon box and, and how you tackle it on. Uh, so that's pretty much all I can say about that is that you know it's gonna I'm gonna give you my guide, but a lot of you guys will have to make the decision on your on your own as to you know what Astromons to place where because of the fact that there is such a huge uh, variance there. And I'm gonna do these last two just to get to that heroic go or the, that last golden egg. And I'll call it quits because I don't mind the extra essences and we did end up getting a ton of nav four, so um, I'd say it was kind of balanced out um, but so I'd say we definitely went at least 27,000 Astro gems in and we ended up with a variant um, vampire and let's see okay so now for that fours we only picked up two from the regular summons which is kind of eh, I really would have liked to pull at least like, you know, four, but um, what am I doing here? I only want to pick up the, these. Alright, let's check and see. Yeah, so we only pull, pulled those two nat fours. Let me make some room here and then we will go ahead and uh, open up those eggs. So, but yeah, I hope that you guys managed to pull something. I personally, like I said, I'm just hunting a couple of acers. Um, there's really not that many Astromons that are like going to be useful to me now, um, uh, except Nat Fives and Light and Darks. So, oh, uh, by the way, guys, the Mona Rebirth is on this month. So any of your extra three stars that you don't need, make sure you feed for her. Uh, get at least like you know two, um, but you, she is actually very good for the World Boss. And don't sleep on this Fire Mona. The Fire Mona can actually be used on the. Um, Wood Colossus uh, with that SP Siphon, so if you need a, a decent Siphoner, she's free. Um, she's easily booked at 25% and uh, yeah, you can definitely take advantage of her leader skill, which is attack up, um, up to all allies. So uh, definitely, um, you know, take advantage. It, there's really no Mon that's better than everybody else unless you're talking like, you know, Apophis or you're talking on um, Titans. So. Uh, that being said, like feel free to use whatever gem, whatever gems you guys got, and whatever Astromon you guys got. Don't just like you know think, oh, because this monster doesn't appear to be the best, I'm not gonna go for him. You know what I mean? So, um, I feel like I should open up these up all at once, but I'm gonna do one at a time. Wood Anki do. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do them all at once, because why not? It's gonna take forever. Come on. Nox is starting to go crazy on me. I thank God I, I made sure that I had at least 4,000 gold. I knew for a fact that I was going to be running really, really low. So, Wood Gilgamesh. Damn, no Acer though. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit salty. Hopefully there's one Acer here. Ooh, another Light Indra. So close, dear lord. Oh, what do I do with a second Light Indra? Oh, that is actually a really good pull. I'm not complaining about that because Light Indra, as you guys know, is very good. He's also very good in the um, Dark Apophis dungeon too. So, but damn, that is leaving me salty. But that that does look real, real nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I might take that and make it uh, my thumbnail for the video. So that that. You guys can take a look in there. You know, like I said, light and darks are usually pretty rare. So, all right, nine golden eggs, and let's see if there's anything in here. A wood yaksha. 
Hopefully there's one F5 because right now, like I said, I'm a little bit salty. Light Hana. Um, I already have like two, no, three of her, so I don't need another one. Yuki. Uh, Light Neza. This would be my ninth nine uh, Light Neza that I've pulled. Um, so yeah, I like I said, guys, Clan Festival is where you want to spend your your Astro Gems. Um, double Crystal Rate is very very nice. So make sure that you guys uh, go all out on this one. Make sure that you pocket in all those crystals because you will need the books. So all right, let's see what we got here. No Nat Fives, all Nat Fours. That is leaving me very very salty i got these other nine i could use um why not i guess i won't have any open op open up during the heroes festival if i get anything out of here not force i'm just gonna you know basically yeah uh dark mandy she's great i have three <laughs> so world boss points for sure um but i already have I've started to get a decent amount of nat 5s, so I don't really need that many uh, nat 4s anymore. But, alright, I mean, I guess we walked away with a light Indra. I, I do have these two eggs to open, but, like, I, I, know, I don't know. I really don't want to open them because they look nice in my inventory. And that's really the only reason why. And because I'm almost, like, 99.9% .9 sure that these will be nat 4s. And then, uh, what do I do with an extra nat 4 in my inventory? Absolutely nothing. So, um, yeah, uh, let's take a look at all my summons. What do we got here? So four and then two. So that's actually real bad. We got six nat fives and 27,000 Astro gems on top of all of those, um, uh, you know, the, the eggs we opened and a uh, bunch of other stuff that we opened. So, but anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you leave a like or subscribe to my channel. If you are new, um, I will be dropping some more guides soon. Um, and of course, if you guys have any suggestions for any videos you'd like to see, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. I do read them. Um, I do reply back, you know, on almost every single one of my comments. So make sure that you guys, uh, post down there you know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for any videos you want upcoming um and then of course i will say that i love to hear what you guys pull from your clan festival so make sure you guys comment down in the section down below because it's nice to see what other people pull besides you know just myself so uh giving into the whole you know gambling addiction over here on monster super league but anyways guys good luck to all of you i uh, wish you all the best on your summons and i'll catch you guys all in the next video take it easy guys peace